Welcome to another episode here in the Unobtained World, and today, guys, is the beginning of the massive storage system. And also, we're going to be getting bedrock. Just, just you know, that that's just a minor thing. But uh, yeah, storage risk system. I've started work on how the room is going to be. I, you know, I've got the pillars how I want them. It's going to be like medieval stone ruin type of inner castle type thing. It's going to be awesome. This is going to be intermixed with uh, cobblestone um, and some other, you know, materials. I think I might go full stone on these things. Um, and then I'm going to use this cyan terracotta for part of the flooring here. I think it'll be really cool. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get into doing this in like a time lapse type of thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think over time we're going to change these entrances to represent what's going to be in that hallway of the storage system. And this here we're going to turn into a bubble vader when that's possibility, but for now we just have to go up this flowing down water stream, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, right now it's raining and as you can see this is kind of a bit more in the centered in the world. And this is going to be like a little water fountain. I think we're going to make like a park type of thing here. Um, and yeah, anyways, so if we come down here this is going to be where our storage system is. One thing we got to do is we are going to have to get a beacon to mine out the the big area we're going to need on all these uh, sides here. But uh, yeah, for now, this is what the room looks like. And uh, before we move to the bedrock getting of this episode, um, I would like to talk about another series on my channel. And that is the Afterlife SMP. Um, a lot of people uh, probably don't even know really about it. Or haven't given it a chance um, I'm encouraging you in this episode to uh, try that out because even though it's not exactly unobtained and you don't get to see the um, interesting things I do in unobtained I think there's a lot of fun shenanigans and multiplayer things you get to find out about other creators and all sorts of fun stuff I think it's really worth your guys's time um, so if you guys wouldn't mind checking that out that would mean a lot to me anyways uh, I wanted to just bring that up real quick. Obviously, there's always a link to all the Afterlife members in the description below of all my videos, including the Unobtained, but uh, if you guys just want to go check it out, uh, for today's episode, I'll have a link to the uh, Afterlife SMP playlist that I've made, and yeah, I've got 20-odd episodes over there. I think it would be worth your time. Um, yeah, so time to get Bedrock getting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have golden apple, which obviously makes us overpowered, you know, and we also have, um, you know, the good old ender crystals like so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and kabam. There we go. And yep. Then we go in here and escape and we go ahead and check out the spawn and sometimes sometimes you know sometimes okay not today not today alrighty so uh, it's time that we go ahead and try this again um, that reminded me uh, <laughs> we should probably um, yeah we, 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 we should probably make a quick backup to do this over and over uh, so I'm gonna do that right now 
and now for take two so what we gotta do is place the thing here and it will kind of take the place of that uh, bedrock block you know it is so fine don't you guys worry about it we just do that and we go ahead and eat our golden apple and there it is and as you can see we reach end this one which is quite interesting and so now when we go through we can go ahead and check to see if we got the uh, bedrock item um, yeah so this takes quite a few times and uh, I think since I've done this before I should show you guys how this kind of works and I think the best way to do that is to try and visually explain it in a creative world so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time-lapse getting it in survival here and then I'm gonna take you guys to the creative world and I'm gonna try explain it as best I can and as visual as I can okay here we go so this is the next try uh, here so what we do is place it on the bottom one there it takes that kind of position we go ahead do that uh, take the golden apple oh it didn't go here we go um, looks like it didn't stay on the block which is good I guess so let's go through let's go ahead and check out if we got the bed rock which is kind of the main point here uh, it, it probably will take quite a few tries on um, I remember last time it took about six or seven so there we go uh, you know it's a process a few moments later alrighty here we are once again We have it. Do we have it? Nope, we don't. Okay. And the next backup. Here we go. Oh, we died that time. Okay. Well, let's see if we got it. Sometimes, sometimes. Hey, there we go. Look at that, guys. We got the bedrock. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, that is how you obtain bedrock in survival Minecraft. Now, I'm going to attempt to explain it in as much detail as I can in a creative world because that way we can visualize it a bit better. So, uh, yeah, we're going to actually keep the um, end, what do you call it, end portal the same because it's kind of iconic that we you know leave it how it was affected um, with getting bedrock I think it's a really cool staple uh, so yeah guys that is kind of the main purpose of today's episode but I, I think um, last episode I didn't really explain too much of it this time I aim to try and do that so I'm gonna get a quick screenshot here and there we go so uh, time to go ahead and explain all right guys so this is my attempt at explaining this to you guys so I've kind of set up like a proxy portal here you guys kind of get the idea um, <clears throat> so normally when these are you know doing their beams they're invulnerable and they can't explode when you when you happen and that's why people take them with flying machines and put them into a portal and put them into the world because they stay in that state when they go through the uh, portal here um, but in 15 w 47 C they actually maintain the vulnerable state but they also maintain the other state where they beam the dragon etc and this was a glitch when they're you know making this feature for the game so yeah the next thing to explain is fire yeah fire is a little is very 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 um, important for this technique to work fire has a destroy value right you can destroy fire pretty easily but there's no drop you know that's pretty standard but fire if you think of fire as a block that you can place and destroy um, s pretend that right clicking with flint and steel is placing say flint and steel but really flint and steel is the fire block right and you're placing a fire block with flint and steel that's how that works if you think about it that way it makes it a bit easier to comprehend so in the end when you place an end crystal on bedrock it will put some fire there 
and in this snapshot when you you can basically in any solid surface you can place an end crystal right or any placeable block so bedrock right you can place a end crystal and it will actually take that uh, space now obviously this one will explode and it will replace the block below it with fire so if we placed this one right here this would be replaced with fire so boom this one is replaced with fire in the end in the end so just think of this block here so if we if we did just lit it on fire that's how it would look kind of in the uh, end. and that's kind of how it did look so now think of that is replacing or taking the place of a bedrock block now in 1.8 um, and below which or sorry not 1.8 and below in any version before one of the 1.9 snapshots bedrock has a drop value which is really important to note and that's why there was a for the longest time the only version people ever thought would work with getting bedrock is 1.8 and there is a way to do it in 1.8 the 0.9 the full release um, but it's it's pretty involved and the methods haven't been doc documented very well so you know anyways bedrock has a drop problem is it's really hard to destroy now what we did was we replaced bedrock with a flame block which can be destroyed now but the thing is because it was placed involuntary there it actually is maintaining the bedrock kind of tags and everything but it's fire or let me place these backwards, but it's fire okay and so what that means is when the explosion goes off the fire takes damage right which normally fire doesn't take uh, explosion damage but it, it gets destroyed and the block the bedrock block will actually drop and the reason will drop um, and it'll go into the portal here and we'll end up in the other dimension in the overworld where you you know you set it up and then obviously that happens when you explode it and the reason you explode it is because all of these are you know just a huge amount of explosion and then it leaves a gap there because the bedrock actually was destroyed right um, and, and it's it's quite interesting because it only works in the end so it's it's an interesting way to explain it but I hope that's a decent explanation of how this works um, I might get together with some people that know a bit more about it and try to do a separate video kind of explaining even more but I think that gets the basic idea down in today's episode okay so hopefully you guys kind of get a better understanding of what just happened but uh, yeah I think that was a pretty cool success we have now a bedrock item I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there look at that bad boy in fact actually I'm gonna put this in the other unobtained chest here because this is a bit more interesting and don't you guys worry we're going to be duplicating the heck out of uh, a lot of things in the next episode next episode we're going to be focusing on duplicating items so with that plan in place for duping all the items i think we should do something else for the rest of today's episode and i got the perfect idea i need to get a lot of iron to get a beacon to mine out all four quadrants of the storage system or what is going to be the storage system so I think it's time that I go ahead and mine like a maniac. I'm going to go ahead and stream it because that is an awesome, awesome way to do it. So yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy the time lapse and those of you watching the stream, hey, welcome.
But you guys may have noticed I actually was speed mining in that time lapse and I realized we have Blasphemy, a 32k pickaxe. I decided, hey, might as well take advantage of that. And I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think that was a good idea. So because um, we just got a bunch of resources, which we desperately needed, I think we should also use Blasphemy instead of the beacon to mine out the area that we're going to need to build this storage system. And if you guys are wondering like how big I'm gonna make this room, basically I'd like to just extend it from this portion here. It's gonna be a pretty massive thing, um, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, right? So uh, yeah, we are going to begin by just mining out from here and you know, just going mad basically. And we're going to do all of the sec or all four quadrants. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do like another time lapse. I think we've done enough time lapses for this episode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut to when it's done. Well, alrighty guys, this has been a lot of digging, a lot, a lot of digging, but we have four nice large rooms to put our storage systems in. And oh man, it's going to be so good having just the plentiful amounts of storage that we need to continue this world for eternity yes eternity um and eventually you know we're gonna make this this look really cool and uh yeah guys so before we end today's episode because next episode we are going to be duplicating a lot of things um i want to ask you guys What's your opinion on duplicating things like quartz to use for the floor in this room and duplicating things like that to use? Um, I think probably not because it's just cheaty like that. We could only dupe on unobtainables, right? Um, and you know, it's fine by me. I was just wondering what, what you guys think about the duping rules because we are going to do it uh, next episode and I haven't done it in a while. And uh, I just would like you guys to, you know, think about it, maybe revisit it a little bit. Um, and just let me know what you guys think of the current duping rules because yeah like i said i don't have really nothing's changed for quite a while so i just want to know your guys opinion anyways i hope you enjoyed today's episode i honestly have had a blast uh even though most of it was like mining and building this room that we're in right now but this room is awesome i love this room like it is beautiful i yeah mm-hmm Mm-hmm. And um, in true puff fashion, my entire inventory is completely filled to the brim. And we have some water and we don't have a ceiling. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.